Hello children, welcome for today's Crack Neat Biology classes. Today we are going to learn some frequently asked MCQs in Animal Kingdom. There are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation and hard work. So with this motivational thought, let us start our classes. For explanation of correct answers, kindly refer the description box children. It has been given there. First question. So consider the following features. A. Organ system level of organization. B. Bilateral symmetry. C. True coelomates with segmentation of body. Select the correct option of animal groups which possesses all of the above characteristics. So here they have given group of organisms A, B, C and D. Four groups of organisms it has been given. The correct answer is B, Annelida, Arthropoda, Caudata. That group is correct. Because Mollusca shows organ system level of organization with unsegmented body. So, A cannot be correct, C and D cannot be correct. The correct answer is B. Now, the second question. So, which of the following animals are true coelomates with bilateral symmetry? A. Adult Echinoderms B. Aschelminthus C. Platyhelminthus D. Annelids the correct answer is D. Annelids. The third question. So, which one of the following kinds of animals are triploblastic? A. Flatworms. B. Sponges. D. Tenophos. D. Corals. The correct answer is A. Flatworms. Most multicellular animals belonging to phylum Platyhelminthus to phylum Caudata are triploblastic. So, tenophos, sponges and corals are diploblastic. So, A, flatworms, it is coming under the correct answer. Because flatworms are coming under platyhelminthus. Fourth question. So, which one of the following statements about certain given animals is correct? A, roundworms, that is ashelminthus or pseudocelomates. B, mollusks or acelomates. C, Insects are pseudocelomates. D. Flatworms are coelomates. The correct answer is A. Roundworms are pseudocelomates. So, here in pseudocelomates, why the A is the correct answer? Because in pseudocelomates, the body space, we call that a pseudocelom or false coelom. So, example for this is Aschelminthus. So, roundworms are coming under Aschelminthus. Next fifth question. So, which one of the following groups of animals is bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic? A. Aschelminthus. B. Tenophos. C. Sponges. D. Coelentrates. The correct answer is A. Aschelminthus. Round bones. Next question. Metameric segmentation is the characteristic of A. Mollusca or caudate and caudata. B. Platyhelminthus and Arthropoda, C. Echinodermata and Annelida, D. Anilda and Annelida and Arthropoda. So, the correct answer is D. Annelida and Arthropoda is the correct answer. So, why this is correct answer? Because the term metamerism refers to a linear repetition of parts in an animal body. It occurs in three highly organized phyla. Annelida, Arthropoda and Caudata. So, that is why D is the correct answer. Next question. The animals with bilateral symmetry in young stage of radial pentamerous symmetry in adult stage belong to the phylum A. Annelida, B. Mollusca, C. Nidaria, D. Echinodermata. The correct answer is D. Echinodermata. So, because Echinoderms, uh, they are having the larval forms. It possesses bilateral symmetry and adults have radial symmetry. The eighth question. So, which of the following animals have scattered cells with 
cell tissue grade organization a sponge b hydra c liver fluke d ascaris the correct answer is b hydra the hydra has tissue level of organization its body is multicellular and the cells occur in two distinct layers of or tissues of specialized cells so they are showing no that is the tissue the, the, sorry they are showing the cellular level of organization ninth question coelom is found between a body wall and ectoderm b ectoderm and endoderm c mesoderm and body wall d mesoderm and ectoderm the correct answer is c mesoderm and body wall then 10th question so besides annelida and arthropoda the metamerism is exhibited by a mollusca b so acanthocephala c cestoda d cordata the correct answer is d cordata cordata is the correct answer now the next question bilaterally symmetrical and a coelomate animals are exemplified by a tinophora b platyhelminthes c askhelminthes d annelida the correct answer is b platyhelminthes the platyhelminthes are bilaterally symmetrical organisms they show triploblastic three layered in embryonic stage and a coelomate animals with organ level of organization now next question so here you have to match the column 1 along with column 2 you have to read whatever given in column 1 and you have to join that one no you have to match along with present in column 2 so if you are matching like this let us see which one is the correct answer so here the a is the correct answer the 13th question so here also which one of the following statements are true for the phylum chordata so we have to read all the characteristic features so among this which one is true you have to find out in euro chordata notochord extends from head to tail and is present throughout their life b in vertebrata notochord is present during the embryonic period only c central nervous system is dorsal and hollow d chordata is divided into three subphyla hemichordata tunicata and cephalopoda so here four options are given then we have to choose the correct answer so when you see the correct answer is no d d is the correct answer so in eurochordata notochord is present only in larval tail phylum chordata is divided into three subphyla eurochordata tunicata cephalochordata and vertebrata so d is the correct answer next 14th question so in this also two columns are given column 1 and column 2 and you have to match column 1 along with column 2 then later we have to find out the correct answer the correct matching one you have to find then later you have to come to the conclusion so which one is correct so here the b is the correct answer matching one b is the correct one same way 15th also so two columns they have been given so here also we have to match a along a b c d it has to be attached along with you no know, matched along with 1 2 3 and 4 so then we have to select the correct option from the following so which option is correct we have to find out so the option c is correct option c is correct the buccal cavity of phyla that is apple snail no it possesses rasping organ that organ you call that as radula so it is having transverse row of teeth for cutting grass so when you see the silk moth bombyx no an insect it has malpighian tubules as excretory organ and in the case of pleurobranchia it is a tinophore having eight ciliary plates called comb plates and the tinia that is platyhelminthes having flame cells for excretion and osmoregulation 
next question let us go to the 16th one so here also you have to match two uh, two columns they have been given so you have to match you no know, the options 1 2 3 4 so in normal letters it has to be attached along with you no know, so 1 2 3 4 in roman letters so you have to see the correct option which one is the correct one after matching you can find out so here in the matching so b is the correct answer next to one 17th question so in the case of 17th question so which one of the following animals does not undergo metamorphosis a earthworm b tunicate c moth d starfish so the correct answer is earthworm so because metamorphosis is a process of transformation of an immature larva into adult form so it may be in two or more distinct stages may be so animals that undergo metamorphosis are so they start to show, they they are they you call them as they are showing indirect development okay so animals which undergo metamorphosis so we call them as indirect development in the case of tunicate moth starfish so they are showing this type of form they are showing metamorphosis but in earthworm the development is direct so they does not undergo they don't undergo metamorphosis so that's why means the larval stage is not present here so hence there is no metamorphosis in case of earthworm next 18th question so here you have to identify the vertebrate group of animals characterized by crop and gizzard in its digestive system so a amphibia b reptilia c apes d osteichthyes so here the correct answer is no apes that is the birds so the alimentary canal of birds they have additional chambers the crop and gizzard crop stores and softens the food so however the gizzard what does it do no it helps in crushing and churning of food so you can find this in apes so that's why c is the correct answer so in the 19th question so which one of these animals is not homeotherm so a macropus b chelone c camelus d cytacula so here chelone that is the correct answer so why it is the correct answer so because in what are homeotherms let us see first so homeotherms are the animals that maintain constant body temperature irrespective of surrounding temperature by metabolic activity so example birds mammals that is chelone is turtle so birds and mammals they show this type of category but turtle that is chelone no it belongs to the class reptilia and they are coming under poikilotherm or cold blooded animals next one 20 so important characteristic that hemichordate share with chordates is a ventral tubular nerve cord b pharynx with gill slits c pharynx without gill slits d absence of notochord the correct answer is pharynx with gill slits so here why that is the correct answer an important characteristic that hemichordates and chordate share is presence of pharyngeal gill slits so the gill slits know so they are dorsally present in hemichordates whereas lateral in the case of chordates so that's why this is the correct answer pharynx with gill slits that is the correct answer now next question children so which among these is the correct combination of aquatic mammals a dolphins seals trigon b whales dolphins seals c trigon whales seals d seals dolphins sharks the correct answer is b whales dolphins and seals whales dolphins and seals are examples of aquatic mammals trigon and shark are cartilaginous fishes so here they asked only aquatic mammals so b is the correct answer now the next question 
so which of the following represents the order of hearts a perissodactyla b cabalis c ferus d equidae the correct answer is a perissodactyla so perissodactyla represents the order of hearts equidae is the family cabalis is the subspecies whereas ferus is the species of hearts so a is the correct answer now 23rd question in case of poriferens the spongocele is lined with flagellated cells called a oscula b coenocytes c mesenchymal cells d ostea so here b is the correct answer so here in the case of spongocele spongocele that is the central body cavity of the sponges it is lined by highly specialized flagellated cells called coenocytes so b is the correct answer now 24th question choose the correct statement all mammals are viviparous b all cyclostomes do not possess jaws and paired fins c all reptiles have a three chambered heart d all species have gills covered by an operculum the correct answer is b all cyclostomes do not possess jaws and paired fins let us see why this is correct ornithorhynchus and taco glasses tachy glasses so these two are oviparous mammals so crocodile is a reptile and it possesses a four chambered heart in cartilaginous fishes no except chimera so the gills are not covered by an operculum so that's why so b is the correct answer now next one 25th so which one of the following characteristics not shared by birds and mammals a viviparity b warm blooded nature c ossified endoskeleton d breathing using lungs so the correct answer is viviparity so all birds are oviparous while all mammals except ornithorhynchus that is duck billed platypus and echidna so that is spiny anteater are viviparous so that's why so a is the correct answer so next 26th question so here two columns they have given children so we have to find out so which of the following characteristic features always holds true for the corresponding group of animals so here possesses a mouth with an upper and a lower jaw so the next one three chambered heart with one incompletely divided ventricle c cartilaginous endoskeleton d oviparous so other side they have given chordata reptilia chondriacus and mammalia so when you compare this so which one is the correct answer let us find out so c that is cartilaginous endoskeleton and chondriacus okay the c is the correct answer so here in phylum chordata no it includes both jawless vertebrates agnetha and jawed vertebrates that is nathostomata so crocodile of class reptilia so it has four chambered heart with two auricle and two ventricle so duck billed platypus and spiny anteater or oviparous animals so that's why so c is the correct answer next 27th question so which of the following features is not present in phylum arthropoda a parapodia b jointed appendages c chitinous exoskeleton d metameric segmentation the correct answer is parapodia so here the parapodia are flattened fleshy so that is vertical no flap like outgrowths of the body so it is wall bound in this mainly it is for attached with body wall and it is found in annelids only so on the lateral side of trunk segments so these all are hollow structures enclosing coelom also which is continuous with that of the trunk segments 
they say mainly the purpose of this no they show dual function they help in locomotion and respiration that's why parapodia is the correct answer here so 28th question so body having meshwork of cells internal cavities lined with food filtering flagellated cells and indirect development are the characteristic features of the phylum a mollusca b protozoa c coelenterata d porifera the correct answer is no d porifera so in the case of phylum porifera they are the sponges they have so that is no cellular level of body body organization with inner cellular layer consisting of highly specialized flagellated cells so that you call that as coenocytes or collar cells the development in this phylum no it is indirect so they show a free swimming larva also so that is that larva you call that as amphiblastula so here in the case they having the cells on the flagellated cells food filtering cells and all no so the uh, cell you call that as coenocyte the flagellated cells you call that as coenocytes so that is the main feature of phylum porifera next one 29th question so metagenesis refers to a occurrence of a drastic change in form during post embryonic development b presence of segmented body and parthenogenetic mode of reproduction c presence of different morphic forms so d that is alternation of generation between sexual asexual and sexual phases of organism so here the correct answer is d alternation of generation between asexual and sexual phases of organism so here alternation of generation between asexual and sexual phases of organism you call that as metagenesis for example in obelia obelia is a sealant rate so the polyps reproduce asexually and medusa no they are produced sexually so that's why d is the correct answer next 13th 30th question so a jawless fish which lays egg in fresh water and whose amocytes larvae after metamorphosis return to the ocean is a neomyxin b teromycin c eptratus d myxin the correct answer is teromycin b teromycin so teromycin is a lamprey it belongs to the class cyclostomata of phylum chordata hope you must have understood today's session children with your effort and hard work you can succeed children all the best for your neat exams we will meet in the next class thank you